CNAS is where you come for bold policy recommendations that are also grounded in reality. There is a demand for ideas and for fresh thinking in the national security space, and that is what we are here to provide. CNAS is shaping the national conversation on national security in a bipartisan manner. Not just Republicans and Democrats working near each other, but actually working together. We're always committed to having real-time policy impact. Let's bring in Andrea at the National Intelligence Council. Joining me now. Elon Goldenberg. A senior fellow at the Center, at the Center for, for a New, for American, a new security. American Security. 2019 has been a pretty exceptional year for the organization. One of the things I'm really proud of in 2019 is the engagement with policymakers, particularly those on Capitol Hill. I'm grateful for this opportunity to be here today to speak to China's expanding influence in the Indo-Pacific. One of the most important things that we'll be doing in this next year ahead of the 2020 election is the U.S.-China relationship. We think of that as the China challenge. CNS got chosen to write this congressionally mandated study of the Indo-Pacific because of the strength of our team. CNAS works across a wide array of regions. We have the Middle East. Nations like China. Europe, defense, and energy and technology. We look at veterans' issues through a national security lens. One of my friends who is a fellow veteran told me that he went on our veteran benefit finder and found out that he doesn't have to pay property tax and it's gonna save his family hundreds of dollars every single month. We move quickly and that means that we can follow the most important issue at hand. But I also think about our work here as building intellectual capital for the future. The CNAS is a very different kind of organization and that it's 100% committed to giving young people a seat at the table. The incredible talent that is here at CNAS are committed to the hard problems that face the country as we move into 2020 and beyond. Because we are aimed at this ambitious but very valuable goal, creating a country and a world that is safer, more prosperous, and freer. 